Right. Let's take some pickies of this before we rip the floor up because that's what we're going to do. <coughs> so we've got obviously. Uh, yeah. Right, what we need to know more than anything is the underside structure. <coughs> Yeah, <clears throat> I think we're mainly looking at just basically cutting it off at the wheel arches and putting a box all the way up there and another box all the way up there and then one across the back here. Um, probably actually it'll be before the battery box because under here, <coughs> under there basically, under that bit there is where, just about there somewhere, is where the prop shaft uh, differential is. So we don't really need to have all of this cut up, so we can just cut it there on that join of that. <coughs> but we will be taking it from the engine bay. Let's cut, cut a big square in that uh, uh, oblong, <laughs> whatever. So, underside. We're going to get the pictures from the underside. Uh, mm. Not too good. But basically, yeah, there's some mountings that I'm going to have to take into account. Yeah. So I may have to remount them if I want to. Yeah, where the gearbox is mounted. Yeah. <coughs> and there's the prop shaft down there. Yeah, which is forward of the uh, battery box so we should be okay. The sh prop shaft is actually very short and the idea was to turn the prop shaft, uh, to turn the... Uh, yeah we can do it. We can rotate the back axle to be um, vertical actually. Yeah I might do that actually. And then we've got full axis. And then I can put the motor straight down onto the top of it. So, we've got the exhaust here, so I'm not seeing too much. And on that side, we've got the tank, I think. Yeah. Anyway, <coughs> need 